<laughs> is there some way we can determine the the date on this image? The day of the week. Day of the week, yeah. I mean, only June 6 is the only thing that comes to mind. But of course, you know, depending yeah. on the year, that. Unless it's saying year, in this? year 114. Is, is there anything. That, ugh. I'm trying to think if there's anything that's like. A hint that's not like, uh, like an obvious like number thing. I'm gonna use the pointer. What is this right here? <laughs> what is what right where? What is this blob? I can't see what you're... Oh, there it is. I don't know what that is. Is that a cat hat? Oh, it's a hat, yeah. It's a hat, yeah. Like this person right here is wearing. He's like, took it off and he's like shaking it around. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. So could this be June 6th? 114? <laughs> I don't know. Didn't, just... uh, didn't the guy at the bar say something about cat hats? The guy, the, bar, the, guy the, the guy upstairs. County. The guy upstairs says only on Tuesdays. It's only on Tuesdays. Oh. So the sixth day is Tuesday in the second week? Okay. Okay. So we now know that the... We now know this is Tuesday. You think it's something like this? I guess? Try it. See what happens. Hello. Oh, hi. Betting stub, please. Here you go. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. Again, sorry, sir. Wah, wah. Sure you'll be so not it. Time. We can try O2 Tuesday. I guess we'll six. just go down every combination until we get it. <laughs> and then six. Yeah, me and this ticket printer, we're gonna Oops. make a mint. Okay, if this doesn't work, Mitchell, you're just gonna have to tell us the answer. <laughs> oh, hi! Betting stub, please. Here you go. Alright, just a second. There you are. Aha! Oh! Are you a winner? Big winner. Oh? That was it. That was it. Thanks, pal. Hey, we did Glad it. I could help. Can't believe we actually like figured that out. <laughs> that was one. That's like that's like one of the hardest puzzles in the game. Okay. Um, what did we get? Ah, look at that. It's Lola's last work. A juicy photo of Nick and Olivia kissing. Okay, so we should take this to the higher, <laughs> the high rollers club. The. the... I, so. I think that guy was up to something. Don't you, Doug? 
thug? Who? Oh, that guy? Personally, I think he was nuts! <laughs> so did, did that confirm that those were two people or not? <laughs> Nick's back. Alright. There's quite That's a delay on this right now. This. Is there? That's no way to treat a photo as juicy as this. Look what I found at the photo finish booth. Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tomcat are neck and neck. What do you want? I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly imprisoned merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive! <laughs> I guess our business is settled. Almost. Ooh. What? Was that for the photo, girl? No. That was just for being you. I don't have time to get you for Lola, but I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either. But don't feel too bad about that, Manny. I hear saving women really isn't your forte. Ouch. Okay, so we got the B out. <laughs> yeah. Um... What else did that accomplish exactly? Um. <laughs> we did all that, and what was our goal? It only goes to the land of the living. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Do you just go talk to him now? Is he? That's what I'm doing. Me. Oh, we can't. Even, oh wait, yeah, we can't. Never mind. It was glitching Get out. This sugar baba light. Why me could talk to the Punch bee? Oh, you think we should talk to the bee instead? I mean, I don't know. We might go talk to. Oh, 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 oh. Something, something else. Hello, Maximino. Why, if it ain't Manny Calavera, come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? Mm. Look, you gotta cut Gladys off. He has a problem. As long as he's got credit, then he's got no problem. Credit? How did Gladys get credit? He's part owner of your club, ain't he? Half owner, actually. Well, he put the joint up as collateral. So as long as you're in business, he's in business. Oh, we gotta go out of business. <laughs> I see how it is. How's the old cat race, Max? Well, volume's pretty low. Most everybody's out of town. Tell me about it. But I've got some side businesses that help smooth over the rough spots. What kind of side businesses? <laughs> Manny, let's just say our El Mato associates appreciate our out of town perspective. You know, you got a pretty nice setup here. You got a good little club yourself, Manny. Not as nice as my girlfriend's, of course. Did you say your girlfriend? Hey, Manny, don't pretend you don't hear the gossip. It's not a secret anymore. Olivia and I are officially an item. Uh. Well, I just saw Olivia and Nick kissing. Manny, we all kiss here. We're all one big family, you know? No, I mean kissing, Max. Manny, Olivia and I are in love. Nick Virago's been my trusted counsel for years. You shouldn't even joke around about their character like that. It could make me very angry. I'm not joking. That's enough, Calavera. I mean it. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about something we can agree about. I'm here for Charlie's money. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. He says you have a lot of it. Oh, I got a lot of it, but none of it's his. <laughs> hmm. 
I uh, I like the new blimp. New blimp. Yeah, I decided yeah. to tell her what happened to the Olivia One and get nice me down. One. Imagine you try to impress your girlfriend by building her a beautiful airship, and what happens? It goes and crashes, explodes and burns on your own track. It kills her favorite cat too. Not the kind of thing that makes the young girl's heart go a flutter. I'll tell you that, toys. Oh, trust me, I know, I know all about that kind of sort of thing. Town tonight. That's great, Manuel. No one needs a vacation more than you. Get out of town. Forget about that Meche woman. Your new waiter's got quite an attitude, even for a snooty waiter type. Hey, Manny, when you put labels like that on people, it's like you stick people in these little boxes and never let them out. We're all in little boxes back home, Max. Six feet under. Now you're talking like the town corner, Manny. Cut it out. Well, I'll let you get back to staring out the window. Just can't get enough of my cats. <laughs> he loves cats. Is there anything in here we can steal? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, actually, hold on. Do we still have that photo? <laughs> we used it for blackmail. We photo, we? I know. If we still have that photo, then we, I think we do have something to do here. <laughs> Yeah, we don't we don't have it anymore. So we need to go out of business. Is what I learned. So are are we ready to rig the the tables? <laughs> so that I guess everybody wins. Hmm. Now we gotta figure this out. Which I, I hope you have a guide ready for us in case <laughs> in case we get stuck here because I have a feeling we might it seems like we're getting closer to the end though right doesn't it kind of feel like that for this area it's probably halfway there Okay, I looked up a little something. So do we need to go talk to the people? I don't think so. We actually don't? I think we already technically got the information. Just remember that one guy's always betting on two. I was kind of expecting a trophy to pop up right there for some reason. <laughs> okay, so two is our number. Well, we can't let him win because he's only been winning. Well, we want we want him to win, right? Because then we'll we'll go out of business. Well, he's he has been winning, and we got to stop him from. Winning. Why do we want him to stop him from winning? Get the magnet. Monsieur, this must be my lucky day. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, the meeting is closed. No more bets, please. So those those the lights on the left side are have to do which table is being played. Oh. You know, he's on the, the one that's on the right. Le numéro gagnant, le zéro, perre manque. Zéro. And he always bets on two. So, Mesdames you just gotta make it whenever it plays on his, make it do any number that's not two. Oh, that's the answer? I think so. What did he lose, then? What? But wouldn't he lose then? Yeah, he's only been winning tonight. 
I thought we wanna we wanna we want him to win. Right? Well, this is the only thing this is this is you changing it. I just I don't I don't get this. Madame and Monsieur, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. It's not my fault. <laughs> no more bets, please. Okay, so just what I should do. What? Suggest so what I should do. What do you mean, suggest what you do? I literally told you, just make it land on any number that's not two. <laughs> 14, that's what's happening. 14 is the winner. Uh, could be. I think you mean two. Am I correct? Uh, no, Monsieur. Fourteen is the winner. I think you've made a mistake. I'm sorry, sir. Fourteen is the winning number. Better luck next time, eh? That does it. That Calaver is getting too big for his britches. I don't like raiding businesses and shutting them down. But someone's got to teach Manuel a lesson in law and order. This way, back here. Open those paddy wagons up and start filling them. And somebody find Calavera. I want to interrogate him personally. Raided? How long are they going to close it for? Ah, uh, yeah, you better cut off the big guy's credit then. Yeah, yeah. Throw the drunk out on his big orange butt. And bring me Calavera so we can talk about his debt. Hey, come on! You gotta let me back in! I'm a VIP! Does that stand for very inebriated pianist? Oh, many. I don't want to be a pianist anymore. I'm a mechanic. I know. That's why I got you a new job. Come on, let's go pick up your tools. <laughs> I can do whatever I want to the engine? Make it faster? Sure, but you'll be plenty busy just keeping her afloat. Thanks for the gig, and for not asking too many questions. Well, after what happened in Naranja, I can see why you'd leave town. Let's just hope I don't have to go fishing you out of the drink again. I'll stay under next time, I promise. We got it, we're on. Hey, baby. the next chapter take place on the boat and either this boat or the one you're going to well we're gonna find out yep wow of course <laughs> where do you find the parts for that it's been a year yeah, they could have stopped, I guess. Captain, oh, and of captain course, Manny's Calavera? the captain now. Puerto Zapato, sailor. When you're not Puerto working River. at a, Beautiful port. you know, a fixed yes, sir, business, he's pretty good at climbing the ranks. The <laughs> fine, fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys, like a rock this time. Manuel. Salvador. I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. <laughs> Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware, and viva la revolución! <laughs> Well, <laughs> uh, this this would have been information that would have been really great to know, like five <laughs> seconds ago. Yeah. Ensign. Oh no, jeez. I'm sorry I led you into trouble, sailor. Wow. Oh no. They just shot I'm up sorry your I led you into crew, trouble, sailor. Yeah. How do we go down? Manny, go, sorry, I led you go down. Trouble, go, go down the ladder. Yeah, 
He's too busy being encumbered by the weight of the situation. This can't mm -hmm. be happening. Hey, he's back here! Sack him! Oh Damn, no. They came in and cleaned house, like, second. Custom officials, open this door! Yeah, we wanna check your bag. Don't worry, Captain. Funny. We're <laughs> safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here. Oh no, they're gonna blow up the ship. <laughs> oh, there's like a reach. There's the anchor. There's also two switches right here. Which city? We can move where the boat is. Is the anchor close now? Oh. Can't reach. No. Let's talk to Glottis. Gladi. Gladi with a body. Okay. <laughs> I think the best way to use this engine would be the controls over there, as opposed to the hands on method. Come on, you can totally can't reach. reach. Okay. So there's buttons on both sides. <laughs> can't reach. So now we can use this. I don't I don't quite understand these levers. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what they're doing. Because there's not even... There's not even anchors on, on the sea floor, but yet... We just moved right there. I, I don't get that. I don't know, man. I mean, we're definitely closer to the dock over here. Can't reach. Yeah. Can oh. you drop the dock like on, or drop the anchor onto the dock, or something? Hold on. We can pull out our scythe. That's all we got. Yep. Annie, what was that? <laughs> what did he try to do? Pull it closer? I don't know. I guess. <laughs> that was a strange animation. It's like he just he just was sort of shaking. Uh, I guess we can try it over here too. It's like he's trying to grab onto the anchor, but he can't. Which we might need some hints. Alright, let's see here.
do you get the anchors tangled? Hmm. Okay. The uh, you, 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 you like you know you move to one side, drop the opposite anchor. Yeah, I can move to the other side and then drop the anchor. Yeah, I'll try that. I want to be back in the room. Okay. Just let me push the button. Okay, now let me move the boat. Now drop the other anchor. Oh, dang it. Okay. Now drop the other anchor. I get it. Now we gotta push it, the boat over, and then we can grab on, right? Perhaps. It looks like they became unhooked. They, they got unhooked? Yeah. Whenever you moved back over, they got unhooked, it looked like. Ah. I mean, they're not really hooked, are they? Well, they were. They're crossed. They're crossed, but are they hooked, though? Sure. I was trying to, like, pull them up or something. Can't reach. It would probably be easier to raise it with the motor. Mm -hmm. Okay, I gotta... Let me just reset. <laughs> reset? Why don't you just raise the oh, anchor? There we go. Yeah. Can't reach. Can you reach now, maybe? The, well, now try raising the other anchor. Do you think I should try that? Yeah. You're about to blow up the ship anyway. Why not rip it in half on your own? Oh wait, no. This is this seems to be working. Oh, is it? Well, there you go. Oh, you had to hook it. Reach. Now I guess you got to raise the other anchor. Yikes! This is gonna be messy. Here we go, pressing the button. Gladys, cover your ears. What was that? The dotted line, buddy. Now can we go? Why is it turning him around every single time I go into this area? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Can't reach. Come on, you can reach now. What is he trying to reach for? If I mess with these anchors anymore, Just we drive. might get the ship. Drive away? Yeah. Can we do that? Was that the idea? Yeah. Oh.
Oh no. <laughs> We're sinking. I mean, is that a surprise when you only have half a boat? <laughs> Snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. Hey, you live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until I figure out True. what we're gonna do. <laughs> All right, I think this is a good stopping point for tonight. Yeah, the bottom of the ocean. The bottom of the ocean. <laughs> um, it's like wondering how they were living, then they realized, wait, they're already dead. <laughs> yeah. So we're now past the halfway point of the game. How how are you guys feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm refreshed. Like yes. I'm deep underwater. Yes. Like we went for a swim. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. Oh. And uh, see you guys next week. Bye. See you. See y'all.